Hey, what's going, y'all? I'm the other Ray J. Thanks for stopping by. So, you know the statements that they make, these cliches about just get over it. You just got to move on. Let go. Let God. Move with the pain. Really? Not so really. See, the thing in this life is that things are still going to be a part of your life. And you are just going to have to deal with it. You're just going to have to heal. But there's a way you do it. Now, the best way I've learned was when I was in college. And I was running track and field in college, Division One, And the, uh, I forget what they call that. Well, the, the healing trainer, per se, the person that deals with you when you get hurt, uh, the trainer, they were like, well, the best thing you got to do when you pull your hamstring or something, you got to walk as if it doesn't hurt. You got to walk as if you're not injured. That's the only way you're going to heal. And that can be so with life, too. I look at that not just from a physical standpoint, but also from a spiritual, emotional. Yeah, physical, spiritually, and emotionally. Even financially. And these are just something that I'm going to just try to cover as quick as I can right now. But uh, overall, as far as just uh, just the overall dynamic, here's how it is. It's not about moving on. It's not about getting over it. It's not about moving with the pain. It's about moving along. Because that's what they were teaching me in college when I was hurt. It's about moving along. You're not moving with the pain. Because if you move with the pain, you're going to keep acknowledging the pain. <laughs> but at the same time, you know that you're healing. So the best thing you can do is get your mind off of it and just keep moving along. You know it's going to take time. You know it's not going to be overnight. But you're doing the best you can. You're taking strides, if you will. But uh, in life, it's the same way, especially if you've been hurt. Uh, I know I talk a lot about these so-called relationships, so I'll keep speaking on it because I think there are a lot of people in the society that are hurt by a lot of these things. I was one of those people, and I'm not going to lie to this day. I'm still healing, but you know what? I am healing. That's an act of emotion. That's not an act of me sitting still. Healing is emotion, and it's been a great motion for me lately. If you can't tell by the sound of my voice in this video that I'm healing, I don't know what to tell you, but... Uh, it takes a healing person to even get up here on YouTube and reach out to millions of people. So that's a healing factor, uh, especially when one sounds very confident in themselves when they're on these videos like I am. Um, but the way you move along instead of moving on, instead of getting over it, instead of moving with the pain, the way you move along uh, from an emotional standpoint, if you will, um, it's like I said, it's similar to when you get hurt. And like I said, those trainers told me, you just act like as if you're not hurt. So the way you do these things is I've learned overall as far as moving along instead of moving on and all that stuff. I've learned to just be, be the way that I was before I got hurt. That's the best way you do it. You be the way you was before you ran into those shortcomings. I had a, when I was running, I had to think about how good of an athlete that I knew I was, how fast I was. Now, from an emotional standpoint, you have to think about how happy you were, how good you had it in life, how how cool, how blessed of a life you had. You gotta get back to what you once knew. Sometimes they call that getting back to the basics. You may have to do that, and that's fine, but that's part of moving along. You may have to do that, but just simply getting over it, simply moving on, that's not gonna help. Moving along gives you that drive to continue to heal in the right places. Because at least, you know, if you go back to what you once knew, what made you happy before you ran into those things that brought despair, you're just going to continue to move in the right direction towards the healing. And that's what I've been able to do in my own life personally. So sometimes I had to reinvent myself. I had to go back to the basis. I had to go back to the to the person that I once knew, the happy person. I had to look at old pictures that I had. Prior to whatever I had to go through in life, I had to see the physical manifestations that took place, the changes in my look. Maybe I got skinnier. Maybe I got fatter. Maybe I developed a wrinkle. Maybe I grew gray hair. Who knows? Uh, maybe I broke out. Who knows? Whatever it is for you, I can relate to those things. So the idea of moving forward is, and that's another good way of putting it, moving forward. You're just moving forward. You're moving along, not moving on. 
Because you can't just put that behind you and walk away. You're healing. It's going to be a part of you. It's attached to you. It's not something you can put behind you. That thing is attached to you like that pulled hamstring. That thing is attached to you. It's attached to your heart. It's attached to your mind. For some people, it is an actual scar. I mean, whatever it was, some type of abuse. Maybe somebody gave you an STD or something. You don't know. We don't know. But it is a part of you and you're healing from whatever that storm was. Don't never let nobody tell you just move on. Just get over it. Just move with the pain. No, you just move as if you once used to move. Just move along. Move like you once used to move. Before all that happened. That's what's going to help you. Because the pain ain't going nowhere. Not anytime soon. You can't just put it behind you. You can't just let go and let God. You can't do that. Because even through his grace, for those who believe in a creator, in a greater power, we know that he, you know, you know that he does healing. We know that universally there is scriptures and things like that that talks about his healing factor. So there you go. There's another healing that doesn't happen right away. That takes time. All this takes time. Nothing happens at a blink of an eye. Things take time. Don't let nobody rush you with this healing either. It's going to take time. Everybody's different. But just keep your focus. Keep getting back to the basis. Keep trying to smile if you once used to smile. Don't let nothing or no one get you down. And be, please, please, be around people that really support you and who you are and what you're about. And they know your story more than anybody else. They know the great champion that you once was before you pulled your hamstring and fell on that track when you were running around that curve. You were in route to break a world record that day in life, but somehow things got you down, even financially, even spiritually. Don't let nobody tell you about how to take care of your debt. You got your own way. Different strokes for different folks, as long as it's not illegal, as long as it's not trying to hurt another person. Just do what you have to do to recover in that sense financially. Uh, don't let no one rush your success, rush your healing. Um Take your time with that. Everybody heals differently. Some people struggle from codependency. They really take time to heal. Not everybody can just get over stuff, but everybody can move forward, especially with the right motivation. Or as I call it, the mojo, baby. Signing out. Don't move on. Move along. Yeah.